Winter storm watches have been issued. Now this is not for the snow coming in for Thursday. This is for the snow coming in Friday into Saturday. Notice this diagonal line where the watches have been issued. We are expecting some warmer air with some rain over by the Detroit Metro. That's going to cut down on snow totals there pretty significantly. Whereas for Lansing back over towards Grand Rapids, we're talking all snow all the time. And with the cold air coming in, it is really going to start to pile up. And this is a huge storm system. So winter storm watches are are going all the way back through Iowa. That pink is a winter storm warning. So Omaha has been upgraded, but notice that kind of turquoise color. That's the other facet of this forecast. We are looking for wind chills that are going to be double digits below zero. That will eventually move into the state of Michigan as well. So our next storm system, there's still a couple fine things that we have to figure out, like where is the very heavy snow versus the heavy snow? Where basically is the rain going to cut down those totals and where is it not? That could be a 10 mile difference. But what we do know right now is it will arrive after Friday. It's going to start off as heavy wet snow and then it will turn into more of a powdery snow as it's temperatures get much colder. It'll blow around 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts. So travel, regardless of if you get six inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, is going to be nearly impossible at times with basically ground blizzards near zero visibility. It is not going to be fun no matter where you are in the state of Michigan. So again, we're fine tuning where the exact heaviest accumulation will be. As of right now, if you're west of US 127, looks good for you there. If you like a lot of snow, it's along it and east of it that we have to kind of figure out where's the rain gonna hold us back a little bit. Even a small period of rain can cut those totals down by maybe as much as six inches. So again, regardless of that, regardless of the actual inches of snow you get, the impacts are going to be severe. We are looking for major impacts. Some of us might even be bordering on extreme, especially along lakeshore areas. So this is something we have to watch out for carefully. We will pinpoint those snowfall totals for you as best we can as it gets a little bit closer. But please know right now that the impacts are going to be the big story here and those are going to be basically the same. So here's the system coming through starting off as snow and again, just like the one we had the other day might wrap around just a little bit of snow in the middle. But look again along and east of 127 anywhere west of 127 it's going to be all snow all the time then there's kind of a round two if you will we're going to bring cold air diving down from the arctic and it will be very very cold remember we also have near record warm great lakes from all the warm air we've had this season this is going to just jump start the lake effect snow machine it is eerily similar to christmas of 2022 if you remember all those blizzard conditions due to lake effect on the west side of the state some of those lake effect snow bands did indeed go to lansing and even as far east as flint so we have to watch out for that very, very carefully. Here's what we're looking at in terms of what you can expect and at what time. Again, heaviest snow generally falling in the afternoon of Friday. Just a very brief window around Lansing where we could see some rain come through. Flint and Detroit, you're gonna have a little bit of a bigger window there. Less than a half mile of visibility at times. And look at those wind gusts, how they just keep increasing. Could be as high as 50 miles per hour into the day Saturday. So let's start off overnight Thursday into Friday. Here's how things look in terms of temperatures. We're getting nice and cold out there, so that's going to cool the ground off, which means as soon as it starts snowing, it is going to start sticking. Now, this little band, not too concerned. It could cause some slick roads, though, in the morning. Notice through the day, not awful. Like I said, mostly an afternoon thing. So we'll go to school. We'll go to work just fine. It's coming home. That's not going to be great. Look at this. By 4 o'clock, the storm is here. It is on. We're looking at temperatures is about 32 but notice these wind arrows that is a strong east wind so heavy wet snow is going to stick to everything that faces east that is stoplights that is road signs that is your windshield windows of the house things like that look at these dark purples showing up so by 8 30 in the evening on friday the storm is pretty much at full strength now we are going to see that rain snow line like i said we're going to try and pinpoint that for you as best we can this particular model which is an in-house model it's called the graph if you want to get into that but it has that little bit of rain just again bordering lansing so more more so over to the east, less so over to the west. But look how temperatures dive once that little area of rain comes through. Through the day Saturday, storm still ongoing, but now we're down in the 20s, so it's more of a powdery snow and it's going to add up quicker. So let's break down snow ratios really quick. 
We all know the old saying, one inch of water equals a foot of snow, right? Well, sometimes yes, sometimes no. So 34 degrees, that is the heavy, wet snow. One inch of water may only be about five inches of snow. Then you get more towards the normal. One inch could equal about 10 inches of snow. That's around 30 degrees. And like I said, it gets more powdery the colder it gets, right? So look at when we're down in the teens, which we're expected to get down to, one inch of water is quadruple what it is when it's warm out. So that snow adds up a lot faster, it blows around a lot easier, and that is where you get some of those extremely high snowfall totals. So here's what we're determining with the European model, this line. And again, that line is gonna determine the difference between very heavy snow here and just heavy snow down to the southeast. Notice Monroe County and downtown Detroit, a little bit less than everyone else. The American model has that line between very heavy snow and heavy snow a little further down to the south. Southeast. The North American model, which is just more of a high resolution model really, notice again that's a little further down to the southeast. So we're talking the difference of one county could mean the difference between maybe six plus inches of snow. That's a very small area. I want to zoom it out a little bit because we are looking for this band of very colorful bright whites that could easily be a foot or more of snow. Some areas, especially with some lake enhancement off Lake Huron, could easily go to about 18 inches off to the north. So there is a lot to watch here. And lastly here, I just need to show you the winds. Friday, there will be out of the east gusting to about 30, 35 miles per hour. Off to the north, look at Alpena, almost 55 miles per hour. As we get into the day Saturday, still very, very windy. Everyone in the state of Michigan gusting 35 to 45. And again, maybe some 50 mile per hour gusts there as well. Even into Sunday, but now it's out of the west and northwest. So the lake effect snow machine is on. It's gonna carry those lake effect bands pretty far into the state and maybe even into Monday as well. Now this is specifically for Lansing, but the whole state is gonna feel the chill. We are going down. Notice Saturday, Sunday, eventually the highs are in the teens. You factor in some of those very cold wind chills and we could easily be double digits below zero with the wind chills. So please be extra cautious out there. There is going to be a lot of snow and it's going to stick around and eventually it'll be cold enough where salt treatments are not going to be working too well on the roadways.